When you enter is a piazza in Italy. When you see like a space this big, 5,000 square meters, it's not anymore about designing a wedding. It's like urban planning. And the plan we did, it's purely Roman classical plan. So people, when they are sitting here, they are experiencing an outdoor area in a city and how this architecture and monument talk to each other and communicate. If a place has a proper floor plan, then the energy in that space starts developing itself into the second layer, which is how the decorative walls, ceiling, all the 3D dimensions take place within that floor plan. There is some people that they do big sofas, big table, big stuff. We're not trying to do this at all. We are trying to keep the human scale in our projects. And it's not just about decoration, right? It's a multi-sensory experience. We stumbled on Eduardo's work. We are always trying to bring something new. Something so simple as galvanized steel, if shaped in the right way, takes you out of the world that you're in into a, such a different world. I use the mesh for a transparent figure. It looks like something that uh, there is no there. It's like... Uh, a phantom is like a, a vision, no? Whenever you bring in an artist, you bring in their spirit, you bring in their way of thinking, and the end result is always something that has some sort of new energy. This project gave us an opportunity to bring into life our biggest fantasies, and uh, we are really grateful for that. When we were approached by the client for Upon Wings, we told her to basically think of all the things that she loves that she comes across. It can be a chair, it can be a jewelry, it can be a painting, it can be a color. She can give us anything. And then we discover a little bit from these images her personality, what she likes, what she dislikes. And she referenced a lot of scenes from movies that had like dreamy, lush settings. She referenced historical gardens. When we have all these references, we start getting ideas. Everyone has a different personality and everyone has a different background. But when we sit together, it's like, sometimes it's like magic. I always call it like it's a jazz trio because everybody improvise. For example, I say something and then it triggers something in Mokasim's head. And then Hiba said, yes, why don't we do this? And I start drawing on the spot. Little details from each one of us makes it happen. It's a feeling, it's something you're creating for the client for that moment. That's what the client wants. That's their dream uh, and that's what we give them. It's mind-blowing, the detail that they're focused on achieving. We're trying to do it from the big picture to the smallest item. Our interest has always been in the idea of transformation, whether it's for an event, whether it's for a public space, whether it's for a government project. If a client calls me asking about whether we could do a project for them or not, one of the first questions I ask them is, how transformational are you willing to go? We're pushing this industry to the limit. Thank you.